Historic facts that are just not true. Lies. False. So much of what we think we know from history, we learn from our history books or what people tell us through the ages. Do we fact check them? No. Was there some kind of historic Snopes? Not back in the day. There's this popular myth that the Jewish slaves built the pyramids. That's not true. This popular myth stems from comments made by former Prime Minister Menachem Begin when visiting Egypt in 1977. It is just not true. The Jews did not build the pyramids. Now, we think Egyptians may have built them, or giants, or maybe aliens. Seems more likely that they were built by Jewish slaves, but that's not true. Jews didn't exist at the period when the pyramids were built. Another fact, Cleopatra was Egyptian. Not true. Cleopatra was Greek, although many people think she may have been African too. Cleopatra belonged to the Ptolemaic dynasty, a family of Greek origin that ruled after Alexander the Great. Her family actually refused to speak Egyptian and she was the first to learn the language. She did like to present herself very exotically, very Egyptian, as in the reincarnation of Isis, an Egyptian goddess, but she was Greek. Let's talk about the Vikings. The Vikings, when we see the Vikings, we see the horned hats. Vikings didn't wear horned hats. In fact, there's archeological evidence that they did not wear any horned hats. This false blurry image of these Vikings goes back to 1800s when there was this Swedish artist, Malstroms, and he did this imagery of some of Wagner's operas that included costumes with horned helmets. So we think that Vikings have horned helmets, it's just not true. When we go into history and we talk about who discovered America, did Christopher Columbus discover America? No. Christopher Columbus did not discover America. He did strike land in the Caribbean and he also explored Central and South America, but he never even set foot in North America. This whole rumor and this whole belief that everybody thought the world was flat and didn't think it was round is not true. As far back as Pythagoras, a Greek mathematician, in the sixth century BC, they knew the world was round. Columbus even supposedly planned his trip using a copy of Ptolemy's geography, which had this map of the world in a spherical shape. Did the pilgrims host the first Thanksgiving? The pilgrims ate numerous meals, giving thanks all the time. And the Spaniards in Florida, they also celebrated similar Thanksgiving types of events because they were always praising God for the bounty of food that they had. This goes back to 1565, well before the pilgrims in 1621, where historians say we had our first Thanksgiving meal. And also, we don't think it was turkey that they were serving. Most likely, the food that they had for the first Thanksgiving was venison. So they had venison. But to have every family in America every year have deer would be quite the feat. So thus, the turkey as the mainstay meat for Thanksgiving. Abraham Lincoln didn't make Thanksgiving a national holiday until 1863, and it was on the last Thursday of every November. But we celebrate Thanksgiving on the third Thursday. President Roosevelt moved the holiday in 1939 to make the period between Thanksgiving and Christmas a little bit longer which would give people more time to shop for Christmas. Was Napoleon Bonaparte short? How short was Napoleon? He wasn't as short as you think. Back in the day, they say he was five foot two. But today, based on US measurement, he actually was five foot six, which was taller than the average male height of five five at the time. He did have the nickname La Petite Corporal. Even though we talk about the Napoleon complex, he was a little bit above average height for the French men. Did Paul Revere shout out the British are coming, the British are coming. First off, Paul Revere had to keep the knowledge of the British coming quiet. British troops had already camped out across the Massachusetts countryside and colonists still 
considered themselves British. So if you were yelling, the British are coming, that's like everybody. Paul Revere may have said on a need to know basis to the people that were sympathetic to his cause, something like the regulars, which was the colonist term for the British soldiers. Did George Washington really have wooden teeth? Washington did have really bad teeth. He had lots of dentures, but his dentures were made of ivory, gold, and lead. Ew, not wood. He did really like his burgundy port wine and was known for making whiskey and bourbon. Did Albert Einstein fail at math? Einstein actually was great at math, even from a young age. So there's all these rumors, including a statement in Ripley's Believe It or Not, that says he could not adequately solve a certain equation. Einstein himself said, I never failed at math. Before I was 15, I mastered differential and integral calculus. And did a cow kicking a lantern caused the Chicago fire in 1871. The Great Chicago Fire killed hundreds and burned more than three square miles in 1871. The blaze started in a small alley from unknown reasons. So Mrs. O'Leary's cow kicking a can or a lantern just didn't happen. The Spanish influenza did not originate in Spain. First, they called it the three-day flu and it killed an estimated 50 million people in 1918, 34 million more than World War I. The rumor was likely started because Spain was hit early and hard with the disease. Even Spain's king had it. Nobody really knows where it started. However, it actually is believed to have started in America on a military base in Haskell County, Kansas. Who invented baseball? Abner Doubleday did not invent baseball. There was a guy named Alexander Cartwright who was the creator of the modern version. He served as the founding father of the Knickerbocker Baseball Club and finalized the diamond shape. He's in the Baseball Hall of Fame too, alongside Doubleday. But Doubleday left no notes, letters, or papers about his role creating baseball. However, it is believed that in 1839, in Cooperstown, New York, perhaps he created it, but there's no real evidence. Many people believe that Adolf Hitler rose to power because he conquered Germany. He was elected into office. No matter what you think, it was an election that got him in. Who was the first man to fly solo across the Atlantic? Who was the first man to fly a fixed wing aircraft across the Atlantic? Most of us would say Charles Lindbergh. But that is just not true. There were more than 80 people who had made trips before Lindbergh. He did have a very successful long flight to his credit. He was made a hero because of it. But there were flights going back to 1919, even though his flight was in 1927. There you go. So those are just a handful, some fun historical facts that you think are true, but aren't true. Please do subscribe to Hot For History for more fun facts or non-facts about history. Nevertheless, you will learn some history that your history teacher would never dare to teach you, I promise.